Okay, let's continue on with matrices. And uh, in 11.5, we learned about the determinant and then how to use that determinant in order to solve systems. So for each of these, we want to find the determinant and then state whether or not it's invertible. Invertible means does it have an, in, does it have an inverse? And it is invertible if the determinant of A does not equal zero. So if you have a matrix and you find the determinant, if it is equal to not equal to zero, then it's invertible. If it is equal to zero, then it is not invertible, which means it does not have an inverse. Okay, so to find the determinant, and we notate that the determinant of A and we multiply 3 times 4 minus 2 times negative 1, which gives us 12 plus 2, which means the determinant of A is 14. It is invertible. Since the determinant is not equal to 0. Okay, so if I want to find the determinant of B, then that's going to be 12 times negative 3 minus 4 times negative 9. So that is negative 36 plus 36. So the determinant of B is 0. This is not invertible since the determinant of B is equal to 0. OK, so how do we use this to solve a system using Kramer's rule? OK, well, that means we have to find three determinants. Okay. We have to find the determinant of this matrix. We have to find the determinant of this matrix. And then we also have to find the determinant of, but this one has the, is reversed. So let's just go through it all. OK, so we have to find the determinant of M. which is the determinant of 5, negative 8, negative 7, 2. So that gives us 5 times 2 minus negative 8 times negative 7, which is 10 minus 56 which is negative 46. Then I have to find the determinant of the x matrix, which means I use the x, everything except the x. But I have to switch the order for them. So this is 13, negative 8, 37, 2 which gives us 13 times 2 minus 37 times negative 8, which is 322. And then I have to find the y determinant, which is negative 8, 13. I'm sorry, 13. I'm sorry, it's the one. So it's 5, 13. negative 7, 37. So that is 5 times 37 minus 13 times negative 7, which is 276.
So my solution x is equal to mx divided by m, which is 322 divided by negative 46, which is negative 7, and y equals my over m, which is 276 divided by negative 46, which is negative 6. So my solution is negative 7, negative 6. OK, so let's do it again. We've got this here, so let's see our m. And I shouldn't have put, this is the determinant of 1, negative 4, negative 8, 11, which gives me 1 times 11 minus negative 4 times negative 8 which is negative 21. Then mx is equal to I get rid of the x's, but I have to flip the order. So this is 47, negative 4, 2, 11, which is 47 times 11 minus 2 times negative 4, which is 525. And my, I use the x coordinates, so that's going to be 1, negative 8, 47, oops, and that's 2. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have put a line there, or that either one. So that is 2 times 1 minus 47 times negative 8, which is 378. So my x is equal to mx divided by m, which is 525 divided by negative 21 which is negative 25. y is my over m, which gives us 378 divided by negative 21, which is negative 18. <clears throat> so my solution is negative 25, negative 18. OK, same thing here. All right, so my m is the determinant 2, negative 4, 342, which is 2 times 42 minus 3 times negative 4, which is 96. mx, okay, I have to use 7 negative 31, and negative 4, 42, which is 7 times 42 minus negative 4 times negative 31. And I want to check my arithmetic on this and make sure I did this correctly. 7 times 42 minus 4 times 31 is 170. Yeah, this is not going to turn out pretty. OK, and then I have my is equal to 2, 3, Let's 
negative four. So two, three, and then seven, negative 31, which is two times negative 31 minus three times seven, which is negative 83. So my x is 170 over 96, which reduces to 85 over 48. And y is negative 83 over 96. So as an ordered pair, 85 over 48, negative 83 over 96. Okay, let's look at sequence and series. We'll go ahead and continue this on the same video. We want to write the first four terms of each of the following sequences. Okay, so the first four terms, whoops, All right, so it doesn't give me a starting value, so I'm going to start with a sub 1. So my n is 1, so a sub 1 is 2 to the first minus 1 factorial, which is 2 minus 1, which is 1. a sub 2 is going to be 2 to the second minus 2 factorial, which is 4 minus, and remember factorial is 2 times 1, which is 2. a sub 3 is 2 to the third minus 3 factorial, which is 8 minus 3 times 2 times 1, 8 minus 6 is 2. And finally, a sub 4 is 2 to the 4th minus 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which gives me 16 minus 24, which is negative 8. Okay, so this is an explicit formula. I can find, using this formula, I can find it if I wanted to go straight to a sub 213. I would know how to do that. This is a recursive formula. So this is a little bit different. I'm going to have to, if I want to find the first four terms, well, it starts out, it tells me that a sub 0 is 2. Then all the other ones are based on what happened here. So a sub 1 is going to be negative 2 times a sub 0 plus 3, which is negative 2 times 2 plus 3, which is negative 1. Then a sub 2 is negative 2 times a sub 1 plus 3, so that's negative 2 times negative 1 plus 3, which is 5. You have to use the value from the term up before it. a sub 3 is negative 2 times a sub 2 plus 3, which gives us negative 2 times 5 plus 3, which is negative 7. And a sub 4 is negative 2 times a sub 3 plus 3, which is negative 2 times negative 7 plus 3, which is 17. Okay, for my next one then, 
a sub 1, this is another explicit formula, so I can start out, it wants the first four terms. So a sub 1 is equal to negative 1 to the first, 3 times 1 plus 2, so that's negative 1 times 5, which is negative 5. A sub 2 is negative 1 to the second times 3 times 2 plus 2, which is 1 times 8, which is 8. I notice I squished them up a little bit here. A sub 3 is negative 1 to the third, 3 times 3 plus 2 gives us 1 times 11, sorry, that's negative 1, which is negative 11. And a sub 4 is negative 1 to the fourth, 3 times 4 plus 2, which is 1 times 14, which is 14. Okay, so explicit, and this is recursive again. All right, so it tells us we're starting out with a sub 0 is equal to negative 1. So a sub 1 is equal to the opposite of a sub 0 squared plus a sub 0, which is the opposite of negative 1 squared plus negative 1. which is negative 2. So a sub 2 is the opposite of a sub 1 squared plus a sub 1, which is the opposite of negative 2 squared plus negative 2, which is negative 4 minus 2, which is negative 6. a sub 3 is the opposite of a sub 2 squared plus a sub 2, which is the opposite of negative 6 squared plus negative 6. So that's negative 36 minus 6 is negative 42. And lastly, a sub 4 is the opposite of a sub 3 squared plus a sub 3, which is the opposite of negative 42 squared plus negative 42, which is negative 1806. Okay, so write the terms up for each series. This is just a summation notation. That means I'm going to find terms, the terms for 3 minus 4n from n equals 1 to 4 and then add them together. Okay, so you can do this in a line or you can say, all right, well, um, for n equals 1, 3 minus 4 times 1 equals negative 1. For n equals 2, 3 minus 4 times 2 is negative 5. n equals 3 gives us 3 minus 4 times 3. 3 minus 12 is negative 9. n equals 4. This is 3 minus 4 times 4 which is negative 13. So the sum of all those, negative 1 plus negative 5 plus negative 9 plus negative 13 is equal to negative 28.
Okay, I have k equals 1 to 5 of this whole mess. So for k equals 1, I'm going to write these out. Yeah. If k equals 1, then I have negative 1 to the 1 plus 1 times 1 factorial, which is negative 1 squared times 1, which is 1. All right, if k equals 2, negative 1 to the 2 plus 1 times 2 factorial gives me negative 1 to the third times 2 gives me negative 2. If k equals 3, negative 1 to the 3 plus 1 times 3 factorial gives me negative 1 to the 4th times 3 times 2 times 1. That gives me 1 times 6, which is 6. If k equals 4, negative 1 to the 4 plus 1 times 4 factorial gives me negative 1 to the 5th times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. I'm going to need some more room here. So this is negative 1 times 24. So that's negative 24. K equals 5. I've got to do 5. K equals 5 is negative 1 to the 5 plus 1 times 5 factorial, which is negative 1 to the 6th times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 1 times, and that should be 120. equals 120. So now I add them all up. 1 plus negative 2 plus 6 plus negative 24 plus 120 is equal to 101. Okay, j equals 2 to 6 of this formula. So if j is equal to 2, then I have negative 1 to the second times 2 squared minus 2, which is 1 times 2, which is 2. If j equals 3, negative 1 to the third, and then I have 3 to the second minus 2, which gives me negative 1 times 7, which is negative 7. j equals 4. I have negative 1 to the 4th times 4 squared minus 2, which is 1 times 16 minus 2 is 14, which is 14. Oops, and that's a page number, so that you can ignore that. If j equals 5, you have negative 1 to the 5th. 5 squared minus 2, which is negative 1. 25 minus 2 is 23, which is negative 23. And finally, j equals 6. Negative 1 to the 6 times 6 to the second minus 2 gives us 1 times 34, which is 34. And then if you add all these up, 2 plus negative 7 
plus 14, plus negative 23, plus 34 is equal to 20. And I'll stop here.